What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we're doing a ranked match video. Um, I'm, gonna play, I'm playing some Mono Decay. Not a great starting hand, but Witch Doctor is always nice to have for mid-game, or actually mid-early game. Throughout the whole game, actually. Uh, I do have a 2-drop and Soul Steel as a 3-drop, so... That'll be good. Hopefully I have something that I can Soul Steel. I prefer like a Tribesman over the Darkling, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of making a... We'll push before waypoints to get another weekly winners. Um, that'd be cool. He is growth. So now, hmm. I'm gonna sacrifice the the life stealer. There's, there's a lot of humans in the deck. There's life stealer, oblivion seeker. Like I'm talking about like the bigger humans, like curse monger, uh, Ilmer hunter. So I think it's better to have a soul steal in languid. And I'll just sacrifice the draining mist here. Now I kind of wish I had the life stealer. You see that? Surprising, make double zeros. Um, surprising that he didn't mulligan if he didn't have a turn two drop as growth. Maybe he's not doing aggro growth. Maybe he's a different kind of growth variety. But uh, I think this match should be smooth sailing for us, considering we're decay, and he still doesn't have a creature. Um, I'll go ahead and. Sacrifice the soul steal at this point because I don't like having to sacrifice two soul steals, but um I But now that he's at if his first drop is gonna be at four resources probably gonna have more than more than two health um, If it's like a lot in range I could just languid it which would be awesome um, But Lane is not that good against growth right now considering Earthborn mystic running around that's kind of annoying Still, nothing I can languish. Um, I'll just sacrifice for resources to languish and play the Drowsman side. So next turn I can... See, I wish I had the life stealing now, but um, hopefully it doesn't have protection for this totem and I can obliterate it with my Darklings. And next turn I can get a Witch Doctor down, which I don't think he'll be able to destroy his growth unless he gets an incredibly lucky rumble and he would have to get Boar Presence. So, yeah. Um... Oh, oh well. That actually hurts. <laughs> Ow. Um. I get oh a double which I that hurts. I wish uh. I wish I didn't have to sacrifice one and the wish doctor so good, but um. Yes, yeah, so the double ragged wolf with that ancestral totem was really good for him. I guess I had made a little bit of a mistake by putting the Darklings up front here so I couldn't place them behind the Trizen. That would have been awesome if I could get them behind the Trizen. But now I'm stuck with one human in front of a Witch Doctor. And he has a totem up, and totems are so scary. So freaking scary for Decay. Um, there's Wallen Ranger. So, so, yeah, having not played a single creature the first four turns of the game he looks to be doing pretty cool right now I don't like sacrificing Trisman either but oh well and I guess that will be that so hopefully he doesn't have a way of like like if he has like a some way of killing my witch doctor I should probably surrender but we're okay in this matchup just because we have a witch doctor in the field and really like Mank, whatever his name is, he will have a tough time with that Witch Doctor. Rat King. I thought maybe a Veteran was coming, because Veteran would have four attack with that Totem. Yeah, the Totem's really good against that case. Tough time deal with, dealing with structures, and that gives like almost like a permanent like attack buff, and he's really filling with the board. Like, this is when it used to be, I would just have to draw a double Return to Nature. <laughs> One Return to Nature affected the whole board. <laughs> oh, I said, I need a human. No human. I'll go ahead and damn curse you. Got to get no human from the witch doctor. That's really, really, really bad. Hopefully he doesn't die with like a ragged wolf veteran. Um, harvest is pretty good in its growth, but it would be hard to protect him at this point. And I wanted to get that damn curse out. Okay. Oh boy, I'm getting rushed here. Uh, well, he didn't have a creature early, but now he's just going hard. Uh, hopefully I get like a 
Uh, I don't know. Another three drop, maybe? Well, yeah, I do get another three drop, but... I think I have to go with the human. Yeah. As much... As much as I, uh... I could go with the harvest. No, I have to go with human. As much as I want to get both those creatures out, I just... Can't. I don't have a... I don't know what to do. That ends up sort of makes those rats actually dangerous. It's really, really helping them out. Not much I can do about it. And the thing is, I have to hold on with that witch doctor. Luckily, he hasn't taken middle idle. So I still have three lanes I could protect with the witch doctor. Um, okay, that's his whole turn. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that, but I still have to draw a human. And a three cause human that would be blight bearer, and blight bearer is not really what I want because I'd probably have to put him in front of a witch doctor, and then he could just poison the witch doctor and whatever is behind that, too. So I'm definitely worried, very worried. I already sacrificed two necrogens, so it's not like I'm gonna be able to get like a surprise win. Um, okay, and now he has the buff from that guy, the wetland ranger. Okay, uh, well this is actually a little, a nice little, uh, oh that's good. Now, hmm, this is tough, what do I want to do here? Dammy Curse, I really want to use on this guy. Actually no, I'm going to let him take this these top idols here. Uh, this is a chance for me to put down a Harvester, I think, because only this Kinfolk Ranger is attacking. And I will. I need to have a human, in, and I need to at least place one human. Let's sacrifice the Rodri. The Rodri's good against growth. Hopefully, I get a Ripper. That'd be perfect. No, actually, I think Ripper's actually not even in this deck. Ooh, that's good. Brain lice. Um, I could use that with the, with this guy, with the Curse Monger. You know what? I'm gonna be a little bit, a little bit greedy here by trying to get a maximum of my turns. And. St Dead, try to go with more humans. Actually, never mind. I'm gonna go like this. Harvester. Okay. I was gonna. I was considering putting the hunter and the and the tribesman, but I don't think that is necessary. So now this turn, I could. I would probably. Maybe I'll be, just be able to use this three attack to destroy this veteran. Maybe I'm gonna curse and brain lice on me up here. I don't know. These guys are not a huge. I mean, this guy is an issue because he does. If as long as these guys are up, up on top though, they're not gonna be hitting any idols. I'm definitely gonna have to cling to these three idols as long as I can with that witch doctor. It'd be nice to get another witch doctor in hand to have a backup if that thing goes down to like a nice crimson bull player or something. Okay, that is what we're gonna need to damage curse. Don't love too many damage curses though. The one damage on you does take a toll. It does take a toll. Okay, and he's smart and he moves down to that brave to put a little more pressure on me. Now, let's see. Another harvester. I could. I mean, he's four cards in hand. He could sacrifice for strolls. He can't god hand or rally crimson bull. He could just rally. So what are the, he, he may very well have a rally and or a Manji Wolf in hand and that would make this guy attack. I want to make sure this guy can't attack. If he can't attack, my Witch Doctor likely survives. Um, because I'm considering just cursing it. And then, because if I damage curse it, I can't really do anything else in this turn, which would leave me in a kind of a bad spot. I think I have to either damage curse the next turn or curse it, bring it this turn, and then I'll also put down a hunter or a harvester. You know, I'm gonna go and I'll go ahead and try to wait for a damning curse next turn. That might be that might be very, very, very risky. But I'm gonna do it. Um so harvester here, and I'll have to just put you in front there. And I want more health in front of the witch doctor. 
and we're kind of giving up this curse monger. But if both of those harvesters are gonna are gonna be able to attack, that'd be awesome. Um, so definitely, I'll have to go with the damage curse next turn on that. Unless he has a rally or Manji Wolf this turn, maybe I'll hold off. We'll see. The double harvester there is really going to give him a hard time if he doesn't have a rumble right now. If he had a rumble right now, oh man. But seeing that he's playing Great Wolves and Ancestral Totems, maybe he's not the aggro variety, so he might not have rumbles. So then he'd probably have like Quakes and Fertile Soils, which I'm not totally scared of. I'm more scared if he has a Manji Wolf or a Rally. Resources, that probably means he has it and he's not fishing for it, but see. At this stage, he's probably a good enough player to know that he, if he gets one of those, he'd really screw me over. So he should probably sacrifice scrolls if he doesn't have one. Sacrifice the resource. It probably means he has one. Man, if he has a uh, Mangy Wolf Crimson Bowl, holy, holy cannoli. <laughs> um, that would be devastating. Let's see. Hmm. He's running out of time. Only 10 seconds. Alright, he's starting to make his move now. 6, 5, 4. Come on, I don't want to. If I see a major wolf or rally come up, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, phew. I mean, it was still a fine turn by him, but now I get to make stuff attack. Oh, boy. Um, let's see. I will sacrifice the brain lice. Necro, get in. Um. Yeah, I don't think that was his best move. Okay, so let's see what happens. I actually don't even need to use a damning curse to kill the Great Wolf. I could just leave it where I am today, right now, and I would kill the stuff. But two plus, I want to get rid of this whole row, actually. But then this thing dies. Like, if I damn curse, I can do a lot of stuff. You know, I'm going to damn curse. Let's do it. Okay, so now, there we go. One problem is, should I just put the Watcher down for just protection? No, I need something else. I want to have cards in hand to sacrifice. So that was pretty good. We just turned the game around really, really fast. I mean, if he has like a Quake and a Frost Scale, then, then that's pretty bad. Which he might have, because he doesn't look like he's that most aggro growth. Doesn't look like he's aggro, enchantment, scary growth. And now this guy's up here with nothing to do. <laughs> That's good. So hopefully I can top deck some humans. Use those husks. Those husks. Husks. <laughs> They're not going to cut it as protection. Um, let's see. Man, a witch doctor just overpowers growth so hard. Another one of those, that's going to be, see, he puts it up there. That's a problem for me. Because I'm not going to be able to get up there and deal with that. Uh, I'm going to keep the Necro again because it could be a possible win. Yeah, I'm not going to use it like unless I'm going to win, though. Because he could just quake all my guys away. Okay, pretty good draw there. Um, I could Languid. But no... I kind of want to get both of the creatures out this turn. I'm going to tuck my harvesters in so they're the safest of all. Play a rot eater here. And I need the curse monger and four of the witch doctors. We cannot lose the witch doctor. Alright, so s sadly, one of the attacking hucks. Hucks. I can't even say that word. Husks. Husk? I can say husk. I can't say husks. Oh boy, he had a Quake Frost Scale. Holy cow. He had it. He had it. I repeat, he had the Quake Frost Scale. Um, Languid. Darkling is actually pretty good, but I'll sacrifice it because I need to... Alright, there's another Witch Doctor in the deck, so I'm not... I'm not done. Um, yeah, I think I have to fill up more creatures in the board. Oh. 
Maybe I can get a quick win with the Necro again. Oh boy, this is a pretty exciting match. Um, Necro getting. Okay. So let's see. Hopefully, it doesn't have like a Great Wolf or something. No, Great Wolf, please. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, and he's at seven resources. I like this match. It's like a kind of like old battle between like the big, big forces. Um, I know languishing a Great Wolf doesn't do much, but I'll do it anyways. Sacrifice that. We need a Witch Doctor, kind of badly. Um, I don't think the card draw right now is what we need. I think I'd rather have the five health. And I will. I could curse that and hope I could. I think I already have, drew my three brain laces. I'm not sure. I definitely did all three of my damage curses. So I kill this. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna kill it. I'm going to kill it. And I will put you there. You there, and I'll put down a life sealer here. I don't, I don't love how I did that, but whatever. Now, if he has a god hand, he might use it here. I'm not sure. Probably wouldn't be the best for me to use it here because you just have a three attack bullet on this guy and a three attack unit. So, wouldn't do much. Probably wants to put more stuff on the board now. At least that quick did get rid of his second ancestral totem. But he might have a third. If I get like another Necrogan in hand, I might actually use one and be be a little greedy and try to go for like a double Necro and try to win and hope he doesn't have like a Quake. If he's Quake right now, I'm interested to see if he would use it or not. He does have enough resources because the taxing goes to seven the first time and he has seven resources right now. I mean, yeah, I actually definitely wouldn't use it because that would just it would kill his Great Wolf because. Uh, my life better would survive and just damage it, and my uh, my life shield would probably survive. Uh, would would survive and would probably heal up. So, yeah. Let let us see. Let us see. What to do? What to do? Um. Another great wolf. Oh boy. Ooh, brainless. Oh, now. Darn it. Darn, 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 darn it. Now I really wish. I wish, I wish, I wish I had. I wish I cursed this guy now. He's not going to destroy him this turn. I can't. Um, let's sacrifice one Oblivion Seeker. Okay, no, where's the third witch? I need the third, I need the third witch doctor, man. I need him. I need him so badly. Let's see. Let's put down the Oblivion Seeker in front of here and then a Ripper down here. Okay. I'm just going to hope that's good. Hope it's good. Alright. Sorry about that. Huh. I know I might be a little too nervous as I should be because I do do board control and decay, Dark General Beast Growth, but uh oh, he moves down, that makes me scared he's gonna clear that route. Okay. That's gonna clear that route, right? Yeah. That destroys my important creatures. Yeah. Um I'm going to sacrifice the life stealer for scrolls actually the blight bearer for scrolls actually no i want to brainless this probably this turn and then i'll play a hunter most likely so i'll sacrifice the blight bearer i want to keep that draining mist i want that third witch doctor okay let's go with the brainless 
and keep you right there. I don't want to be burned by Relentless. And put you right there. Okay, so now, chances are I'm going to draw Witch Doctor next turn. But that also means it's probably all I'm going to be able to play. So hopefully he doesn't have like another god hand to clear most of my humans out. We'll see. Um. Oh, it's GG. Crap. I messed that up. I messed that up so hard. Why did I leave that idol? Why didn't I not? Why did I not put the the Elmer Hunter on that idol? Darn it. Um. Yeah. I was gonna put it on the bottom idol for more protection on the six health idol, but then I decided not to because I wanted the middle idol more. But oh my god, that was a huge misplay. I probably was ahead in that match because I was gonna draw Witch Doctor the next turn, like. 80% of the chance, 80% uh, chance I was going to draw Witch Doctor next turn. Oh, okay, now I'm scared. How much did I lose? Okay, under 25, please. Meh, 23. Okay, that shoots me down a little bit. Um, I want to try to go for one of the top three spots. Oh man, I'm all the way down. Where am I? Eight, I'm tied for eight. I was tied for four before. I was 1870, but I lost a match. Um, yeah. The rating is not that high right now. Like, I think Nick Dean 16 is actually in the 1800s, so it's not that hard to get to the top three. So hopefully I'll try to do that by the end of the week. And look, I have 200,000 gold. So that's, I'm ready for waypoints. Come out, come out waypoints. I want to buy all the scrolls. <laughs> so that'll be it for today. Hopefully that was a pretty exciting match. You, you saw me fail hard. Um, yeah, so thank you all for watching, and subscribe if you want more content like this, and I'll try to do kind of frequent uploads, maybe every other day I'll see what I can do, and, uh, not getting many submissions for Top Lights of the Week, so if you want another episode this Friday, I need more submissions, and that'll be it. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe.